Hi everyone, it's Robin B360. The Xbox Series X, S and Xbox One can give you amazing gaming experiences, unless you run into an error code like this one. Fortunately, Xbox error code 08B0500B6 is a fairly common one and can be resolved pretty easily. Generally, it indicates an issue with your network connection which has prevented the update from completing successfully. So if you run into this issue and want to resolve it, just make sure to follow all the steps in order. And don't skip one step as it might prevent you from resolving the issue. Also make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if this video was helpful to you. Now let's begin. Step 1. Restart and power cycle. In order to fix this issue, you must first restart your console or power cycle it. To restart your Xbox, follow these steps. Press and hold the Xbox button to open the power center, then select restart console from the list of options, click on restart and let your console complete the process. To power cycle your Xbox, follow these steps. Press and hold the Xbox button for about 10 seconds, which will turn off your console. Then unplug your console from the wall socket, leave it unplugged for at least 30 to 60 seconds, connect your Xbox to the power outlet again when the time is up, and then press the Xbox button on the console to turn it back on. You can repeat these steps if you don't see the startup animation when the console restarts. Also make sure to keep the power button pressed until the console completely shuts down. Step 2. Check the network and server. Go to settings and your network settings and in case needed, connect to your network. If you're having issues with a wireless connection, see if you can connect your Xbox with a network cable. If the network cable doesn't work, see if it's properly connected or try another network cable. The next thing you should do if you encounter this error is to check the status of your Xbox server. Visit support.xbox.com and check the status of the Xbox servers. Make sure the Xbox server is up and running. Step 3. Remove and re-add your profile. Press the Xbox button on the home screen of your console, then navigate to the System tab and click on the Settings option. Select Account and click the Remove Account button on the right side of the page. Now select the account that you want to remove. Click on Remove to confirm. After that, turn off your console and unplug the console's power cable from the wall socket. You will need to wait around 2 minutes. Reconnect the power cable and turn on your console. Your Xbox profile has now been successfully removed. You now need to re-add your profile by doing the following. Press the Xbox button on your console, select System and Add New. Sign in with your Microsoft account using your email address or phone number, type in your password and in case you forgot it, select I forgot my password and follow the steps to retrieve your password. After signing in successfully, open the Xbox console and see if the error is solved now. Step 4. Reset your console. Another possible solution for this issue is to reset your Xbox console. Just go to your system settings and console info. From there, reset your console, but make sure to choose reset and keep my games and apps. It will restore the Xbox OS without affecting your games or apps and delete any potential corrupted data. If for whatever reason you can't access this menu, you can also press and hold the sync button on your Xbox, press the power button once while holding the sync button, and now it boots to safe mode, where you can reset your Xbox. Step 5. Perform an offline system update. You may try to perform an offline system update on your Xbox console and see if it works. You need to have a Windows PC, an internet connection, a USB flash drive with a minimum of 6 GB and format it as NTFS. Furthermore, you need to download the system update file OSU1 here. Just follow the rest of the steps of this link and install it on your Xbox. I will leave this link in the description so you can check it out later. Step 6. Contact Xbox support. After this step, I have a bonus step, so make sure to watch the entire video. If all else fails and none of the solutions in this video worked for you, you can ask Xbox support for help via its official contact page. From there, you can select the green contact option to speak with a representative. As promised, the bonus step. If everything did work as expected, then it could be your security or antivirus software blocking connections from your Xbox to the Microsoft servers. In that case, you might want to temporarily disable it and then try again. Let me know if this video was helpful to you in the comments. Also don't forget to hit the like button so more people can see this video and subscribe for more content. Just click on this. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.